My Line. Brought to you by Geritol, the high-potency vitamin iron-rich tonic in liquid or tablets to help you feel stronger. And now, let's all play What's My Line? From New York, let's meet our What's My Line panel. First, the talented lady who is delighting audiences in the current Broadway play, Chin Chin, Miss Arlene Francis. And now a comedian who opens May 13th at Scioli's in Philadelphia, the wildly funny Buddy Hackett. I'm so now the nationally syndicated columnist of the Joey Bishop show of, of the New York Journal American, Mr. Arthur Kilgallen. <laughs> and now our publisher panelist, our own wonderful Bennett Sir. I must tell you what our panel moderator just said. He said he thought he might have a little trouble understanding Buddy Hackett tonight because he doesn't always hear people who speak above a whisker. Never oh. So I think he deserves everything he gets. Here he is, our panel moderator, John Charles Daly. <laughs> I want it clearly understood that on this program, the chair is not necessarily responsible for any remarks made by a member of the panel. <laughs> Buddy, it's fine to see you here. Thank you, sir. It's nice of you to bring Joey, or rather for Joey to come with you to the theater tonight. I saw you two characters last night, as I guess most of us in the theater did. Well, a friend of ours is opening at the Latin Quarter tonight. Uh, ah. Corbett Monica, who plays Larry on Joey's show, and we're going to go over to see him, so we took our wives out for a change. <laughs> well, it promises to be quite an evening. We've had a good beginning and we have some very interesting occupations. We'll also have a famous mystery guest before my friends on the panel a little bit later in the program. And we'll meet our first challenger after this word. Our first contestant, will you enter and sign in, please? Sonia, Tyler, is that right? <laughs> is, it, uh, is it Miss or Mrs. Tyler? Mrs. Mrs. Tyler, where are you from? Forestville, Maryland. Fordsville? Forestville. Forestville, Maryland. Is that, where is that, in close to the Washington area or up the other? About 10 miles outside of Washington. 10 miles outside of Washington. Mm -hmm. Nice to have you with us. May I Thank present you. our panel? Now, would you join me over here? You know how we keep score on What's My Line? Yes. Yeah. All right, then we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. <laughs> All right. Panel, we're, we'll tell you that Mrs. Tyler is salaried and deals in a service. And we'll begin the general questioning with uh, Bennett Sir. Mrs. Tyler, is your service in any way connected with some sporting activity? No. No. Nope. One down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Did the audience enjoy your uh, whatever it is that you do because uh, it is an unusual thing for a girl like you to be doing? Yes. Uh, is it a, do you work for a a non-profit making organization? Yeah. Uh, do you wear any sort of garment other than a dress in your job? Yeah. 
would it be considered in any way a uniform or cover all costume? No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Hackett. Well, could I avail myself of this service? And... <laughs> Well, Buddy, we would have to say only in a very general way. We would have to assume that <coughs> you as a member of, of a community would in some degree avail yourself of the service because it's a service for a non-profit uh, organization. I was in good shape before you started to explain to me, I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, do you have anything to do with some kind of machinery? Mm. You mean above the usual relationship of, of any person to machine? Like if she ran a car wash. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> that's three down and seven to go. Miss Kilgallen. Mrs. Tyler, do you work indoors? No. Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Tyler, we've established that you work for a nonprofit yeah. making organization. Is it a government of some kind? Yeah. Is it the federal government? No. Five down and five to go, Miss Francis. Now, to get back to your job, are you ever off the ground in your work? But now you're speaking here of not when you say off the ground, you're not talking about walking up steps or something like that. No, I'm not, John. If you want to give me a no, go ahead. That's fine. <laughs> Six down and four to go, Mr. Hatcher. You work for city government? No. Seven down and three to go, Miss Kilgallen. State government? No. Eight down and two to go, Mr. Sir. Not state, not city, not national. It must be then... County, county government. Yeah. Right. County government. Is this, uh, can we rule out anything to do with the law and penal institutions? Yeah. Would this then be some kind of a job that might improve or protect the health or well-being of citizens? It could have the application in certain instances, certainly of protecting the, the health and well-being of, yes. of the citizenry. Yes. Mrs. Tyler, are there any animals connected with the work that you do? Yes. Uh, are they four-legged animals? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Dogs? Yes. Don't tell me you're a dog catcher. Yes. <laughs> Yes, Dorothy. Arlene asked about uniforms or coveralls. What is the uniform or coverall? Mrs. Tyler wears slacks and, and uh, a blouse. There is, there's no oh, formal uniform. Or <laughs> no, actually, uh, Mrs. Tyler is dog catcher in Prince George's County in Maryland. Tyler, I'll bet you're the prettiest dog catcher in the United States of America. <laughs> well, thank you. I'd just I like to say one sure. thing, though. Huh? <laughs> 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 Our second contestant, will you enter and sign in, please? <laughs> Eleanor. Hansbury, is that right? <laughs> is it uh, Miss or Mrs. Hansbury? Mrs. Mrs. Hansbury, where are you from, ma'am? Hollywood, Florida. Hollywood, Florida. Nice to have you with us. Mrs. Hansbury, may I present the panel? Now, would you join me over here, please? You know how we keep score. Yes, I do. All right, then we'll let the audience here and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. All right. Panel, Mrs. Hansbury is self-employed, deals in a product. And we'll begin the general questioning with uh, Buddy Hackett. Uh, this product you're dealing, is it edible? Yes. Uh, is it of a citrus variety? Pardon? Is it a citrus fruit? <laughs> no. No. One no. down at nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, is it something that would be stocked by the ordinary grocery store or supermarket? Yes. Uh, could I hold it in my hand? Yes. Uh, would it be served at dinner, normally? Yes. Uh, would it be served as something other than the main course? Yes. Uh, would it be a side dish rather than a first course or dessert? 
I would say it would come in the general category of side dishes if your def differentiation is that is it first course or dessert is against main course. Uh-huh. Uh, is it um, anything in the accessory to a meal? Would you put it on anything or eat it with something rather than just by itself? Yes. Well, I think the answer would be yes and no to that. <laughs> um, has it ever been in any other form before it's in the form in which you deal with it? Yes. Was it larger when it was in the other form? No. No. That's two down, a date to go, Mr. Sir. Mrs. Hansberry, was this product ever alive before you started <laughs> getting around with it? No. <laughs> Never. Three down, seven to go, Miss Francis. Does it have uh, the quality of a condiment in any way? Is it a spicy thing or a very tasty? Uh, accessory. But in the sense of, of a condiment, tasty in the sense of a condiment or a spice. You're trying to get me to say she go off the ground again? <laughs> <laughs> Four down and six to go. Mr. Hackett? Mm. Is this a, a pickled sort of thing? <laughs> a pickled sort of thing? <laughs> five down five to thing? go. Uh, <laughs> is this packaged in glass usually? No. Six down and four to go, Mr. Sir. Uh, can this product be eaten without being cooked? Yes. Is it very often eaten without being cooked? Yes, I would say here, Bennett, again, we have to go back to the basic product as Mrs. Hansbury knows it. When Mrs. Hansbury is concerned with the product, it does not need to be cooked to be eaten. Might this product be raised in or near Hollywood, Dade County in Florida? No. It is not. Seven down and three to go, Miss Francis. Is there any flour in this uh, product? Yes. Is it any member at all of the bread family? Yes. Is it uh, more unusual than just a loaf of bread? Um, I mean, for by that, let me, don't, John, don't turn the card. It makes me so nervous. I mean, is it something like a bagel or a pretzel? Or <laughs> you see, you should have let me turn the cards. I'm going to turn all the cards over because really you did get it, Arlene. It is a loaf of bread. It's oh. diet bread. It's of a special character. Oh. But I think you clearly got it. Actually, uh, Mrs. Hansbury is the president of the Hollywood Diet Bread Company. Now, I find this bread fascinating. I'm going to ask Mrs. Hansbury to tell you all what is in it what, it, what what it's made out of. Would you tell us? Well, it has eight vegetables in it, and it has 49 calories, and anybody that's on a diet naturally is watching their calories, so it is low in calories. Is it 49 calories to a bread or to a 46 slice? calories. 46 me, calories to 46, a whole bread? No, to the slice. Size, okay. But it's As got carrots and, and cauliflower and, and cabbage. I hope it tastes sea better kelp. than it sounds. <laughs> it's delicious. It's delicious. <laughs> carrots in it. Oh, yeah. Well, it's all made into the flour, though. You just put some <laughs> salad dressing on it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that Buddy would have something to top us with. Thank you very much, Mr. Hansbury. It's been Mr. nice to have you with us and watch my life. tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, here is a word from our sponsor. And now the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery challenger for which the panel is blindfolded. Blindfolds in place, panel? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Good. Will you enter mystery challenger and sign in, please? panel, different form of questioning now, one question at a time, in turn moving clockwise, and we'll begin with uh, Dorothy Kilgallen. Well, I know Mrs. Kennedy isn't making personal appearances. 
with that applause. Are you in show business? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Sir, would you be in the metropolitan area by any chance to help exploit a new motion picture in which you are a star? Yeah. <laughs> Miss Francis? Is there possibly more than one person there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. Hackett? Uh, did you become famous in television? Yeah. Miss Kilgallen? Is one of you red-haired and the other ski nose? Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> it is Bob Hope and Jim. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that new thing. <laughs> boy. I think I carry it. Thank you. I think you carried us a couple. <laughs> I think you carried us about twice, didn't you? <laughs> Just a little bit. Bob came in and signed Bob Ball. Lucy <laughs> came in and signed Lucy Hope. And the first time Bob tried to make an answer, Lucy nearly lost her left hand. <laughs> <laughs> what, no what about my cat? <laughs> <laughs> Bob almost lost his cat. I don't think anybody mentioned the picture, which is Critics' Choice, that you're... Thank you. There she yes, goes. Yeah. Critics' Choice. Thank she you, knows. Arlene. She knows. And as yes. a publisher, Bob, I think you should say something about your new book, even though I didn't publish That's it. That's pretty sweet for a competitor. I think so. <laughs> well, the name, I will say that the name of the book is I Owe Russia $1,200, and it's a great deal of fun, and I read it, and only Bob Hope could do that and, and get away with it. I don't want Bennett to know this, but I'll be in Doubleday's window tomorrow at 1 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> when I you almost, finish washing the windows, Arlene's I like show. you to come I think off. I'm going on your show tomorrow. Are you at Sardi's? <laughs> Are you at Sardi's, Arlene? Yes, I may be. I may have you in a sandwich tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I hope so. I'd like that. What'd you say, buddy? It's dead now. I know? thought... <laughs> you know, oh, I thought that was Orson Welles, so help me. <laughs> Is that Buddy Hackett? That's Buddy Hackett. How are you, buddy? Yeah. No, it's Gene Kelly. I always come here to dance like this. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, one thing has always astonished me about both these good people. You're in the rough, huh? No, is the energy that you both have. Bob, you're going to be in the University of Cincinnati in midweek, aren't you? Thank you very much, and John. Now, where That's are you on going? Wednesday we're going to Yeah, but then where are you going? Then I'm going to Ohio University. Ohio University. I knew you were going to be at two universities. Thank you very much. What are you going to do? You think you'll ever graduate? I'm, I'm doing, I'm, I'm stealing Bennett's racket. I'm doing a show there for Halfway House, a house for kids. Oh, so, oh, oh, wonderful. Yeah. You're making it pretty tough for me. <laughs> we played 11 theaters yesterday. Lucy and myself, opening Critics' Choice. Nineteen altogether. If you think we're not in shape, I'm going right to the Mayo Clinic right after. <laughs> <laughs> well, you we actually did. We you couldn't go. You got to see Don Soans and, and tell him I sent you. Oh, you right. know Dr. Soans up there? No, where is oh, Mayo Clinic? At Mayo's, yeah. He's uh, Charlie Mayo's. He's not in. really going to Mayo they've Clinic, asked, John. They won't let him in. <laughs> they've, asked me to use, they've asked me to use the servant's entrance. <laughs> <laughs> let me be serious for a moment about, oh, I guess it was three weeks ago, I presided at a dinner here in New York given by uh, the USO. And good Lord knows that uh, it's He was serves. the master of ceremonies, and I never knew he could work standing up. <laughs> <laughs> but you all know what the USO does. I think probably it does the greatest service for the, our youngsters, all of whom have to see military service. But the point I was trying to make is Robert got the gold medal. He's the second to get the USO gold medal. Cardinal Francis, Francis Cardinal Spellman is the first one. And uh, it was a great night for all of us. It was a great dinner, but he made it even greater than it uh, might ordinarily have been. And nobody deserved that gold medal more than you did. Thank you, John. I appreciate uh... that. I appreciate you showing up. You, uh, you were real fine that night. A little too funny, in fact. <laughs> Now, what actually happened was I stood up and said with Robert there, I wasn't going to dare to tell a joke, and I didn't even try. Is that the truth? You were pretty good. I read the stock market good. report. You were pretty good. Is Lucy going to school with you? No, I'm, I'm going back and do my show with Vivian. Oh, yeah, um, that's good. That's good. <laughs> well, I have one final word to two people who have been to 19 theaters in the last two days That's with their right. picture critics choice thank you for giving us a you know the way we Sunday feel night. the way i feel about it john i i helped kill vaudeville and i'd like to restore it and we try <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm 
must admit, Colonel, you've done remarkably well so far tonight, and we'll have another contestant after this word from our alternate sponsor. And now to meet a final contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? Wim Olsen. William Olsen. Right there. Where are you from, Mr. Olson? Brooklyn. From Brooklyn, New York? Fine. Good. You're sure to have a lot of fun. Mr. Olson, may I present our panel? Hello. Now will you join me over here, please, sir? Do you know how we keep score, Mr. Olson? Yes, I do. Fine, then we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. I think he arrested me once. <laughs> All right. Panel, we can tell you that Mr. Olson is salaried and deals in a service. And let's begin the general questioning with uh, Arlene Francis. Mr. Olson, is your work very difficult? Is it a hard job? At times. Do, uh, do you go to people rather than people coming to you? Yes. Do you uh, find that the people that you go to are sometimes unhappy as a result of your visit, as nice as you are? No. Well, I must say this. I doubt very much that Mr. Olson ever made anybody unhappy wittingly, but there are circumstances under which a visit by Mr. Olson might not result in all of the happy conclusions that... Uh... Does Mr. Olson have anything whatsoever to do with law and order? No. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Hackett. I guess he didn't arrest me then. <laughs> uh, when you go to, to people, do you carry something with you? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, Mr. Olson, may I assume that by law and order you also exclude private detectives or process servers? Yes. Good. Do you work for a profit-making organization? No. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Olson, has your work got anything to do with education? No. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Does it have anything to do with social work or welfare work? No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Hackett. Is this a personal service that you do when you go to someone's house? I beg your pardon? Is this a personal service that you render? You mean delivered specifically to one person rather than to a group of people? No, something to one person in a personal way that would just this person would accept at that time without another person watching. <laughs> well, now that I understand your question, buddy, no. that's no. Six down and four to go, <laughs> Miss Kilgall. Mr. Olson, uh, could I avail myself of your services? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to have to put all the cards over because unhappily we're running out of time. This was a very tough one. You were beginning to get close to it. Actually, Mr. Olson inspects and tests rides out at the Coney Island Amusement Park. He works for the Buildings Department of the City of New York. Thank you very much, Mr. Olson. Nice to have you here. Nice to have you with us tonight, Buddy Hackett, and good night, Miss Arlene Francis. Thank you, John, and good night, dear buddy. Have a very successful engagement in Philadelphia. Thank you very much, and good night, good night Dorothy. Buddy. Don't forget to come back next week when Joey is here. Yeah, I'll be the mystery guest. <laughs> good night, Bennett. John, what do you think of our Mets? Oh, listen, I think the fever that has caught the city for the Mets is wonderful. I'm, I uh, guess that's in our nature. And if wishing alone will make them a great ball team, they're going to be a great ball team. They'll need one wishing. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks to you, ladies and gentlemen, for being with us on What's My Line. What's My Line is a CBS television network production in association with Mark Goodson and Bill Potts. Johnny Olson.